Smiles Maker, and we're always trying to turn a few frowns upside down, not just for the folks at home, but ourselves. As you can imagine, folks, the company is going through a really rough time since the passing of Kelly Magnus on Friday. No, now, Kerry. Apologies. Kerry Magnus. Kerry Magnus. Now our beloved um, Doreen Samuels, a truly beautiful soul. We're now joined by the general manager of radio services here at RGR, Dr. Dennis Howard, and former co-anchor of TVJ's primetime news alongside uh, Doreen Michael Sharp. Um, Michael worked with Doreen for about 11 years. That's about that, yeah. Good, Good morning, morning to you both. Man. Sir, pride of place. Goes to you, sir. Um, what was that feeling when you heard that Doreen had passed? Uh, unbelievable, sad, saddened by, by uh, her passing. Uh, I just remembered Doreen, even to the end, being just a soldier in terms of coming to work, not complaining, not succumbing to the pain, because for a very long time we didn't know what was happening. And uh, it, it's, it's amazing, it's a testimony to her professionalism and her as a person who uh, separated the work from her personal life. It's amazing. Mm. It's a great loss for all of us. But I want to go to you now, Michael, before you take us on a, a walk, you know, over the years, the time you shared with her, what have we really lost and what lessons can we learn from the great Doreen Samuels? The lesson we can learn is how to apply ourselves to our respective jobs, mm -hmm. how to be professional, how to turn up to work, how to stop complaining, how to talk about we don't have the resources and just get it done. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the lesson. How are you feeling? Oh, mixed up, mixed up. Um, I'm trying to speak to my brain and say, come and speak to the positives. Mm -hmm. and say, we're glad we're here, but 11 years beside somebody is not, <laughs> you know, it's not yeah. 11 years. I hear she never complained. Is that true? <laughs> true. I can't imagine. Is, is, what, she, what was she, she like when there was a professionally. She uh -huh. didn't complain and take to um, the corridors and take to so, 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 so. Mm -hmm. She, you know, Michael, we need to get the sprinter thing going right. And we Absolutely. need, of course, you know, the, the, the professional demands. But you'd never know that yeah. when, when she went on air. Yes. You know, so she would be complaining about something like all of us yeah. do. Yeah. And then when she turns on that Smooth. microphone, you'd never know because yeah. she had so much warmth and uh, vitality in her voice and her presentation and personality. That, that is why so many people believe that she's their mom, sister, friend, lover, wife, everything, you mm -hmm. know. It's, an, it's, it's a rare, rare kind of a, a thing for, for, for somebody. She basically transcended personality as a radio and television person, mm -hmm. you know, because you, you felt that she was part of your life. You woke up with her, yeah. you went to bed with her. Yeah. She was in our homes every minute. Well, she was a part of our lives. Yeah. Yes. And, um, you know, kudos to the man called Alan Magnus and how they did their thing, because mm -hmm. even now we must spare a thought for him, mm -hmm. having lost his wife, Carrie. Um, on Friday, and she was a part of the R.J. Aglina communications group. friend and wife. Yes. That's right. And down at Radio, power, yeah. yeah. Down at Power 106, yeah. we went through that situation mm -hmm. on Friday, only to hear um, <laughs> come yeah. Tuesday. And you did radio with her? Too. I did radio you, with you, her you, um, because I was in the newsroom, and she was always the presenter. So it was, all, you know, it was, I've had some privilege sitting beside some crazy professional people. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and I've, you know, the... the it's just, it's just yeah. great, you know. One of the ways um, things work is when you have chemistry. So That's you right. have, what kind of chemistry do you have? Well, the chemistry work? was right. Remember, um, even after the radio days, we went to television, and I was a single guy reading the news. And when we came down in 2004 into this studio and the one next door, um, it was, the decision was then taken to, well, let's have a double header. Mm -hmm. You know, man, woman, um, two persons were out there for a long time. And her transition was seamless to television. Guess what? She did kind of pretty long time. Yes. Or let's say, we don't say pretty, <laughs> telegenic. And that voice, that voice. Oh, well, that, that, that was... Had, it was soothing. It was all a, gifts, eh? Yeah. All but gifts. let me ask you, at that time when you were reading news, did you have teleprompters and things Yeah, like we had that? teleprompters. When you came you, in? You did not. We didn't make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, so what, tell me the year now. That was 19... 2004. 2000 with, with news. Yeah, we came down here, mm -hmm. here and we, we read the news. We had a big launch, mm -hmm. new set, new studio, mm -hmm. and uh, 
new people, mm -hmm. new, yeah. <laughs> you know, she came here in 1980. 81? 80, 80, yeah, somewhere yes, about 81. that. Yeah. And I came here in 83. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we, our lives have been the radio television thing. Mm -hmm. So I started at, at J Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation and then back in those days in the 80s, uh, it was amazing the kind of camaraderie uh, that existed between RGR and JBC as workers. So I saw Doreen, we were friends, well not friends, but mm -hmm. associates from that time, mm -hmm. Alan. We used to come down from JBC to the... To the, to the um, I don't uh, know what you're <laughs> speaking about. To the, to, the, <laughs> to the sports club. Yeah, okay. To the okay. sports club. <laughs> and would have uh, a, a wheel of a time in yeah. terms of, you know, hanging mm -hmm. out together. Mm -hmm. uh, Kerry was there. Yes. Sometimes always. Dorian was always, there. Yes. And of course, always present. Michael. No. Who? No, no, no. Alan Magnus. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Right it's kind of like he's a, lost two he had, wives he had a really position. and truly, eh? Al Plummer would be there. That's people right. people mm -hmm. like Al Plummer. That's Sometimes right. Henry would be there. Yes. You know, so we're, we're coming from... When I, when I, I assumed the position at, at RGR, I was coming home in a sense. And, of course, I was working at TVJ for a little mm -hmm. while. So mm -hmm. she, we're always around, mm -hmm. you know. So I, all of us are, are trying to hold the standard of a Doreen Samuels. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned some of her um, assets and, and what we need to take from her, the lessons. Um, what are we looking at now with what, what's left? There's a lot of young ones now left. Um, that's, that's, that's an easy one. Yeah. She has a template. Yes. You know, from the, from the dressing room, mm -hmm. from the makeup. Mm -hmm. or, or <laughs> you know, go in there now and ask the girl, oh, she's got her special chair. Mm -hmm. yeah. And everybody knows that's, that's Doreen's chair. Mm -hmm. And when she's in, she's in by a certain time. Mm -hmm. yeah, and she wants Always to be looked on after. Time. Always yes. on time. She yeah. wants to be looked after. Mm -hmm. And that's done. She gets her script. She, not because she's Doreen and been reading it for 99 and three quarter years like myself. Um, she goes through it as if it's her first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, reads, rereads, checks out, don't like this, can we make the changes? Mm -hmm. Bam. At the end of the every newscast, we have the post uh, meeting. Mm -hmm. How can we get do this better tomorrow? That's a template. The template yeah. is Fill it, right. and you'll be a Doreen. And she was a, a good <laughs> presenter. She was oh, a yeah. very oh, good presenter. Excellent, excellent news reader. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, excellent yeah. personality on, mm -hmm. on, on radio and on television. Mm -hmm. so. And off air. Yeah. I remember oh, having yes, conversations yes. with her. And I, I always say, I don't a know. Total I don't know who you are. I really, yeah, <laughs> she is so cool. Yeah. She's so yeah. cool. Uh, listen, I remember we were doing some training for a new playout system recently. Mm -hmm. And a young person, a young guy, Franco, in mm -hmm. fact, came on, just joined us and was doing the, tr the, the training. And Doreen was there. And he said, listen, I can't believe this. I'm in the studio with Doreen Samuels and we're doing something together. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was just totally blown away. Yeah. You know, that, that's the kind of power that she has. And, and, and there she was, how are you doing? You're good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And he felt so good about it. Yeah. 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 As Neville mentioned, you know, we would have our own coffee break in our TVJ studios <laughs> because we'd cross in the mornings. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we really miss that. What are we doing for Doreen? Do you have any other information to share with the public? Um, is there going to be any any information? Uh, it's too early for us to, right? to, to, to mm -hmm. divulge anything because also we, the family, we, yes, yes. there has to be They're some the consultation this, with, yes. the, with the family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So not yet. Okay. But on the family issue, let's yeah. just shout out, are we feeling the pain? Yeah. Can you imagine oh, yes. them? Um, their children, children, you know, Russell, um, you know, the boy leader there, mm -hmm. um, you know, Melissa, and my little friend, you know, um, former Ardenite, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, she's well, at UWE now, um, doing well, mm -hmm. very gifted. I saw the animation thing and I thought of her again, yeah. Morgan, and um, we wish them well. Yes. And we want Absolutely. them to know that we, you know, they can float on our love right now. It's tough for all of us. And as Empress said, I, I see her, well, I'm here four mornings out of five, and I see her every morning when she comes in yes. um, to get the, the, the radio news. And I have so to reach out across. to Alan Magnus. Yeah. I can't imagine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, okay. and I just want to tell him that we are here for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good to see you both. Thank you. Yes. Good to see you both. How, right. how are things at JNN? Hey, next number one. All right. Yeah. Part of the group, I had to acknowledge <laughs> that you're not just here yeah. as a Posco anchor. You know? Yeah, no. <laughs> you're the All big right. group man. Yeah. General Manager of Radio Services at the RGR Greener Communications Group, Dr. Dennis Howen, 
uh, not only former co-anchor of TVJ's Prime Time, but you just heard Empress asking how is JNN, he's the, what, operations manager, what are you yeah, over there? Yeah, so? Not all that and more. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, go yeah. for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. We, we, we could check them out every now and again. Michael, sure. We want to thank you all so much. More on smile when we come back. Stay yes. with us,